Alrighty, folks, welcome to the NTA broadcast. Today we have a few things to announce. First things first, we have the upcoming field trip to meet new records for the music tech class. Second and most important, we the ninth grade students of NTA presenting their own version of their amazing works. But today we're only focusing on one thing, and that is the task finders. The task finders consists of the following questions. Katie Kitak, Audrey Wenta, Anaya Eldridge, and Alexander Trent. Twelve international countries and four local Fort Wayne attractions make up the race. For Fort Wayne all the way to Vera, Germany, the racers will experience difficult or easy times, but in the end, they will become more focused in their way of life. Now on to the task finders themselves. So our requirements are two people per group, 18 and up, and they must be exes, whether it's lovers, best friends, or co-workers. <laughs> So this is our map group, and it starts in Fort Wayne and goes all the way to Gare, Germany. So Lake 1 is Promenade Park. Promenade Park is the newest park in Fort Wayne, and it includes a kids' canal, an amphitheater, boat rides, and etc. For our physical task, teams must go to 15 locations before the boat leaves and try to get on the boat in time. And for our mental task, teams must go to two locations with different viewpoints of downtown Fort Wayne and paint what they see. The team that has the most recognizable location will move on. For our next leg is Froggy Park, which has the Children's Zoo, Flamingo Theater, Show of Lake. For the physical task, they will need to catch 10 fish from the lake and return. For the mental task, they will be on a scavenger hunt, which is based on the acts they see on stage. All right, Lake 3 is Mexico City. In Mexico City, there's a small town called Xochimilco, and in this town there's a lot of canals. And on these canals, there's a boat called a Trajinera, which can be compared to Fort Wayne's Sweet Breeze that is on, on the Fort St. Mary's River in Promenade Park. For our form of transportation, the teams will be using <coughs> buses and the Trajinera. For the physical task, teams must build their own Trajinera and try to float it down the canal. And for our mental task, Teams must recreate a trihinera floral arrangement from their memory. For our next leg is San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, it has the Castillo San Juan Fort, which defended San Juan in Battle of Puerto Rico. It can be compared to Fort Wayne's old fort. The transportation will be a Spanish scuba driver that only speaks Spanish. And it is also robot. So contestants will jump into water, swim to the other side, and go up and down stairs 10 times. which is home to the native and Barrett tribe. tribe. They're uh, known for uh, using older traditions and are also known for their kind and colorful culture. A lot of some jewelry in Fort Wayne is also uh, inspired by native American tribes, which is cool. Um, for our transporta transportation, uh, teams will be using a car or a vehicle, which is a type of boat. Uh, for the physical task, participants will have to learn you and Vera dances and perform them. They will also have to get a hobo tattoo. <coughs> As a mental task, participants must learn several, uh, sorry, several uh, and Vera phrases. Lake six is Brasilia, Brazil. In Brazil, the number one religion is Christianity, along with Catholicism. Brazil is home to many churches, just like Fort Wayne, which is the city of churches. Brazil's churches are known for their architecture, just like the ones here in Fort Wayne. For the transportation, the teams will be going by taxi. And the physical task is teams must memorize the Brazilian national anthem, and once they're all done, they must recite it. And for the mental task, teams must memorize a Portuguese scripture. For a seventh flag, participants will be going to Cape Town, South Africa, which is rich in history and agriculture. In Cape Town, there's the Robin Island Museum, which, which may, whose main goal is to educate people about South Africa's heritage and history. This can be compared to the Martin Luther King Bridge, which has a quote from Nelson Mandela, who was from <coughs> South Africa and helped fight in apartheid, which is also in South Africa. Our form of transportation will be, will be ferries, buses, and a cableway. For the physical task, participants must race up 
give them out, which will take approximately two hours. Um, for the mental task, participants will go through the Robin Island Museum and at the end answer questions about it. For our next leg, it is Melbourne, Australia. And in Melbourne, Australia, there is the Royal Botanical Gardens. It is made to dedicate to flowers and plants and teach people of Australia and just around the world about it. It can be compared to Fort Wayne's Botanical Conservatory. And the transportation will be a letter. The physical task, the contestants will have to go into a maze and find three of three flowers and put them into a bouquet. For the mental task, they will need to see a picture of golden water, which is Australia's national flower, and paint it from memory. For the ninth play, participants will be going to Sydney, Australia, which is the most populated city in Australia and Oceania. Um, some tourist attractions inside Sydney are the Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Sydney Opera House, and Darling Harbour. And there are more. Um, for our transportation, uh, people will be, teams will be using a car, and a roadblock is that one person from each team must bungee jump off the top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And it's approximately six. The top of Sydney Harbour Bridge is approximately six hundred feet from the water below. Leg ten is Tokyo, Japan. In Tokyo, Japan, they have Iwano Park, which is over one hundred and forty years old, and it is a metropolitan version of Tokyo. In Iwano, they have a science museum with two floors of dinosaurs. For the transportation, teams will be using a skyline. For, our for the team's physical task, they must match, they must match bones to dinosaurs, to dinosaurs around the museum, all while wearing a T-Rex suit. And for the mental task, teams must pick three origami dinosaurs out of a basket and recreate them. Leg 11 is Dubai. Dubai is home to the largest shopping center in the world. They are also known for camel rides and exotic bird shows. Fort Wayne has many shops and also has a lot of, in, a lot of exotic animals in their Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. For transportation, teams will use the Metro Rail. For the physical task, teams will do a camel race against at least one other team. And for the team's mental task, they must go around the largest shopping mall to find ingredients for a traditional dish and recreate that dish from scratch with only a recipe in front of them. For our next leg is Cairo, Egypt. And in Cairo, Egypt, there is the Egyptian History Museum. It represents history and culture and it teaches a bunch of people about it. It can be compared to Fort Wayne, which also teaches about Fort Wayne's history and also has interactive activities just like the Egyptian Museum. Transportation will be by donkey, and the physical task for them will they will have to dig up four replica artifacts and bring them back to the museum. For a mental test, they will have to be in an escape room and escape using ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics while using the Egyptian hieroglyphic decoder. For our next leg is Rome, Italy. In Rome, Italy, there is a Colosseum, and it represents uh, history and geography. It is a historical uh, tourist attraction, and it used to hold up to 50,000 it can be compared to Fort Wayne's War Memorial Coliseum, which holds up to 13,000 people. People will be transported in a chariot, and it is also a robot. So people will be in a paintball battle, and they will battle like gladiators. In order for them to move on to the next leg, they will have to grab a wooden sword that sits on a pedestal and be carried on to the next leg. For 14th leg, two are going to Gara, Germany, uh, which is Fort Wayne, one of Fort Wayne's sister cities. Inside of Garrett, Germany is a natural history museum which displays the natural wonders of Garrett. Um, in Fort Wayne, we, have, we also have a natural history museum that has lots of geographical um, exhibits about Fort Wayne. Form of transportation will be by train or bus, or the form of transportation will be by train or bus, and participants will have to go to a landmark in Garrett that's displayed in one, in one of the exhibits in the natural history museum. In a mental, as a mental task, teams will have to uh, solve a puzzle on how humans, plants, and animals interact with the air's uh, environment. Lake 15 is the Botanical Conservatory. The Botanical Conservatory has a variety of flowers and exhibits that change yearly. For the transportation, teams will use a motorized scooter, also known as a veo ride. For the physical task, teams must go on a scavenger hunt and find a bunch of different plants. For the mental task, 
teams must memorize 10 different flowers and two facts about them before their time is up. For a final leg, which is the same leg, teams will be going to the museum of art and cooking, which is a huge cultural part of World Land and has gallery talks and craft workshops, which uh, uh, the museum explains or it shows lots of uh, art pieces made by American artists. For the physical task, participants will have to recreate a, uh, an art piece in the museum, and whichever team has the best looking art piece gets to win the race. Um, for the mental task, um, teams will have to go around the museum and, <coughs> it and then guess which exhibit they're in when they're done. That's it for the task finders of NTA broadcast. Stay tuned for next time's broadcast about the World Diabetes Day taking place on November 14, 2019. A quote from the task finders. Where will you travel next? They're going to give you a little feedback.